7.30 in the morning, I'm on my way into town to get some blood sucked out of my arm. This is literally the worst time to go to town because everyone and their mom is on the road. All good, still on time. Man, it's insane how green everything is all of a sudden. It's literally summer now. I was on time, but so were 12 other people. For some reason they gave 12 people the 8 a.m. appointment. It is all done. By the way, it was just a routine check, so no need to worry about anything. And now, I think we're gonna play some ingress. I didn't stand a chance. Look at this field. The whole city is pretty much blue. And as soon as I found a weakness and tried to attack it, someone remote recharged it. So no matter what I put on it, he constantly defended it. This is the equivalent of Best Buy, I guess, for Germany. so nice lately I think it's about time to get out my bike not this bike this bike I haven't really used it this year or last year but it's actually a really nice bike As you saw earlier, my rear brake didn't really work well. It was constantly, constantly holding the wheel back. So basically there was too much air in the system which pressed the braking pads together. My dad was able to fix it, at least it seemed like he was. So I decided to go on this tour. My whole family is kind of part of this biking and skiing club and they meet like once a week in the evening to drive maybe about 30 kilometers I think was the, what they usually aim for. So I start going and after a couple of kilometers all of a sudden I was going over some gravel and bam my brakes started pulling again. I had to turn around basically and go back now. I wouldn't have gotten the 30 kilometers with a pulled brake that's just insane especially since I haven't really touched this bike in at least a year or two and I haven't driven even close to 30 kilometers in a while. Check these pants out by the way. I used to wear them all the time for biking. Let's talk guys. As you probably noticed, I've been trying out different stuff with my channel lately and I've been thinking a lot about it. I changed my banner and my channel art and I love it. I love how it is not as Minecrafty anymore. Like look at that. That was my very first YouTube avatar. It hasn't changed a lot, has it? Then I changed the background, then I changed my belt, then I changed my skin. And that's all I ever changed. And I am so happy with the new one. I really, really enjoy that. It has my face on it. You all saw all the vlogs that I posted recently and I had so much fun with it that I really want to get more into it. Problem that I'm having, most of the time I'm sitting in this basement here, record videos, watch videos, or do similar activities. Yeah. 
Anyways, vlogging is something I want to get into. Right now I only have this GoPro, but as soon as I get a job, I plan on getting like a, a real proper camera. As awesome as the GoPro is, and I am sure I talked about that before, it is very, very one-sided. You can do one thing and one thing only with it. And I really want some more versatility. I also looked into mics to attach to the GoPro to get the audio better, especially when I'm outside, but I probably won't get anything below a hundred bucks. But don't fret. We'll get there eventually, I'm pretty sure. Until then, we'll just have to deal with this. I kind of want to reduce the amount of series that I do at the same time. This is always subject to change, maybe even in the upcoming weeks, but I want to make this my three pillars of the channel. Vlogs, Dinosaur Mine, and Pokemon. And of course, the occasional multiplayer stuff, just because it's a lot of fun. But I guess it's time to go out in the world again. Seriously, I love ingress. While I was in the city again today, I showed you last time all this huge blue area and just when I was about to leave, I saw all of a sudden all these blue, all this blue area dissolved and some level 15 green guy went through and neutralized half of the portals and only took half of them. So I went after him, took all the portals, made this huge, well not huge, medium sized green area, get all the points for that, like 50,000 or so. and. Just as I wanted to get my last one, <laughs> I tried to connect one and it didn't work. I tried again, I tried again, it didn't work. And that's because another blue guy is right now going back through, destroying my whole area and taking it all back. This game is freaking awesome. So I tried streaming to YouTube earlier today and unfortunately it did not really work out in my favor. For some reason it ended up being really choppy and I couldn't figure out why or how to fix it. I don't know if we will be able to do um, the eight hour stream that I still owe you in case you don't remember on YouTube. We might have to go back to Twitch. Holy crap, what's up with the traffic today? Thanks guy. Yeah, our 8,000 subscriber celebratory eight hour live stream. I wanted to try and make it happen on YouTube, probably not gonna happen. I'm gonna try it again before another test stream but we might have to go back to Twitch which is reliable and works beautifully. I also spent my whole morning writing a new script for a brand new Front Lines of Science video. Huh? Who of you still remembers that project of mine? I think I found a really interesting scientific paper that I wanted to share with you guys. So that should be fun whenever that comes out. Quick update, I fixed some of the kinks that I had with YouTube streaming and was able to do a successful test stream for one and a half hours yesterday. So what I'm gonna try next is to set up a program that streams to Twitch and YouTube at the same time because that would probably be the ideal solution. Right now I'm aiming for next Saturday, May 21st for our eight hour live stream. But nothing is set in stone yet. I'll definitely make a separate announcement video with the exact date and time and what we're gonna do on the stream. Until then, have a nice day.